What's up guys, it's the Epic Films here on YouTube, and so I'm just going to give you a little unboxing of the brand new iPod Touch 4th generation. So, I just got back from the App Store, and that's what I just brought with me, and so we're just going to take a little look at that. Here it is. I'm so excited guys, you guys are in for a treat. So, let's start off by just showing you what the box looks like. This is re a redesigned box by Apple. It's supposedly a little bit easier to open, so we'll see about that. And you see that it says um, 64 gigabyte on the back, and some writing just there, and the iPod Touch on the side. So let's go ahead and get into it. So we're going to have to peel off this little sticker here to first get it open. I'm just going to try to get that off right now. Okay. Yeah, it's a little bit difficult. I mean, um, okay. Almost got it. Okay, there we go. And then you can just lift it right up, and there it is. Brand new iPod Touch. So I'm just going to lift it up right here. Nice and easy. And you peel this white um, strip right here down with ease, just like this. And then it should be able to just slip right out. Let's see. I might wait. Okay. Um. Let's see. I think you can just pull it out. Yeah. Let's see. Just pull it out like that. Uh, sorry about that. Okay. Um. So and then you just peel that little cover off. Screen cover protector. And there it is, guys. Brand new iPod Touch, fourth generation. It is really shiny on the back, and you got some new um, volume adjuster buttons. You see the microphone and the camera right there, and the sleep button is on the other side instead of where um, it used to be on the older models. It's on the same side as it is on the iPhone, but it doesn't really matter to me that much. I like it there, actually. And you see the front-facing camera, where you can do FaceTime and stuff. And so now, guys, I'm going to do a little size comparison of the first-generation iPod Touch to this fourth-generation iPod Touch. And as you can see, the first-generation iPod Touch is actually really clunky. And over these four years, Apple has managed to make this new one like so much thinner it's like unbelievable it's so razor thin okay guys so let's just start this baby up okay wait for, okay there it is there's the apple logo and so we're just going to set this thing aside and i'll show you what else comes in the package Okay, so what we got here, we've got the fingertips and techniques, or just fingertips, that's what it's called, sorry, um, and just shows you everything that you can do with it, pretty much everyone knows how to work the iPod Touch, so, so you don't really need it, but if you want it, and it looks like it's started up, but I'll just show you what else is in there, so there's the Apple stickers, and they're a bit smaller, but it doesn't really matter to me. And of course, the Apple headphones. They just slide in that little plastic thing, pull it out. There it is. And these Apple headphones don't have any microphones or a microphone on it because the microphone actually is in the device itself. And of course, the USB to iPod cable to sync your device or charge it. So that's pretty neat. And so we're just going to set this box aside. It's actually a pretty good redesigned case by Apple. It saves a lot of space from their previous cases and it's easy to open. Okay guys, so I'll be right back after I connect this device to iTunes. 
Okay guys, so I'm back with a review, and it's about a half week later, so I've been playing around this thing with a lot, and I absolutely love it. It's a great upgrade from the third generation iPod Touch, and an outstanding upgrade from the first generation iPod Touch, if you're coming from that, like me. So let's get right into it. I love the iOS um, 4, because I couldn't download that onto my old iPod Touch. And it's just amazing. I love the folders, the multitasking, game center. It's just great. The voice memo, microphone, and of course the camera. So let's get right into it. So you see I've got multitasking right here. Even got this little um, lock aspect ratio button right here. So if you're in an application like calculator, then it locks it so it won't turn just like on the iPad. So, you can just push it again and it'll turn. So, let's get into another thing. I love the folders. You can just sort your apps really well and keep your pages um, limited. And the camera is great, of course. It's really good. Two cameras, front facing and back facing. The only bad thing is, is th um, the stills aren't the best quality, especially compared to the iPhone 4 but it's still great um, to have a camera and I can't complain about that I've been wanting a camera for a while and so yeah it's just an amazing device an outstanding upgrade by Apple it falls a bit short to the iPhone 4 but you can't complain because Apple can't put everything on it otherwise no one would buy the iPhone so it's just an all, all around amazing product and so thanks for watching and I'll catch you later thanks for watching guys and don't forget to comment thumbs up and subscribe